Hi guys, my name is Anna Paisley. I'm an artist from Moscow, Russia, and today we're going to talk about reds yet again. The previous tutorial I kind of showed you how to paint a same subject in different type of red, and hopefully that gave you some insight about the different types of reds. What I'm going to be doing today is mixing different types of reds with other paints in in the center supply oil sets and trying to find out what type of mixes it gives me. Now this is what we're going to end up with in the end of our tutorial. Here you can see uh, all the five different type of reds that are coming in Zara Supply set with mixed with whites, with darks, and then whatever came in darks mixed with whites again. And then we're going to do this little chart right here, which is again five different type of reds, and I tried to mix it with different colors. Here is ultramarine blue, viridian, and um, cat yellow, I think uh, this one is. So uh, as you can see, I was actually hoping to do a whole chart, like all the colors, mix all the reds with all the colors, but for the sake of the tutorial not to be too, too long and boring, I decided just to mix, you know, the essential, which is like blue, green, and yellow. Yes, so without further ado, let's just start the tutorial and I'm going to tell you all about it later. So I'm going to start off uh, this tutorial by collecting all the reds that are in Center Supplies collection of oils and here we see five different reds which is Rubin red, vermilion, alizarin crimson, cadmium red and naphthal red. I will start off by mixing it with a plain white and just ivory black. For that I'm going to be using a recycled uh, oil paper which is just you know uh, an uh, an oil painting that didn't come out right. And uh, to mix, I'm obviously going to use my palette knife from Zenner Supplies and probably a um, sort of medium sized brush. I will take my regular oil palette for that and uh, some uh, solvent, orderless solvent, just in case I need to delete some paint. So I'm not going to talk a lot, I'll just be doing all the mixing because uh, I mean, it's obvious what I'm going to do. And I'm gonna speed it up a little bit for you guys so you just don't get too bored. So this is what we ended up with and I would say it was pretty interesting to do this because look at how different all the reds are and all the mixes with whites and blacks are actually different. You can really see the blacks very well because it's so so dark but trust me if you try to use this and even add a little white to dilute it because what Adding white is usually a good uh, strategy to kind of reveal the color if it's too dark in oils, which happens really often. You can see how uh, how different this color is, right? From from each of the mixes. There you can see it. This one is so much more colder, and this one is so such a beautiful dusty pink. So go ahead and do that. And this one is uh, is an amazing color, which is ruby and red mixed with dark. It has nothing to do with alizarin crimson mixed with a dark, which I thought would be kind of in common. But now that I think of them, like because when you see them in the tube, they're so much more alike. But now that I look at them, ruby and red is just such a vibrant pinkish like almost color. Alizarin crimson is really dark dark red and uh, they obviously act different in in all the mixes and this this one is just a beautiful 
pink and this dark is just amazing. I never thought that black could give, with ruby and red mixed with ruby and red can give such an amazing sort of mauve, mauve, mauve color. This one, for example, cadmium red creates such a beautiful salmon color, which I would never expected it to be with just mixing it with whites because I would say that a salmon color like this needs a little like more orange, you know, like kind of mix cadmium red with vermilion. But now, no, you, I can just use cadmium red and add some white to it and it's gonna be this beautiful salmon color. And I'm going to proceed with another little paper here and I'm going to try and mix all the reds with different yellows and, um, and blues and greens. So I'm gonna come up with uh, something convenient to create this chart and I'm gonna go, go ahead and mix it and I'm gonna also speed this up a little bit for you so you don't get bored again. Really beautiful mixes with ruby and red with alizarin crimson is a really deep mauve color cadmium red was surprisingly f okay too it's like a little less cold than alizarin crimson but still a really nice color naphthol red was a little on you know on a not so exciting side but still creates a beautiful red reddish brown which could be useful sometimes So honestly, this one gave pretty unexpected results. I was really, really surprised about ruby and red and alizarin crimson mixed with, with the viridian because it just created this beautiful dark blue color. It's just like, what? <laughs> like green and red creates blue? What? Like, I, I just, I was so shocked to be honest, but look at how pretty this color is. I just specifically put it here to make sure my eyes are not betraying me because I couldn't believe a red and a green can create such a beautiful blue color. It's just amazing. And this one is ruby and red, which is a little, I'd say on a lighter side. This one is a little darker. So then we have vermilion mixed with viridian blue, which creates this beautiful earthy uh, green color. I really love that one. This one is perfect for landscapes especially if you create a sort of moody you know really like rainy day landscape this is perfect green for like everything trees grass just everything and then there's cat red mixed with uh, with viridian which created this beautiful sort of violet gray color and again i like i couldn't believe my eyes like how beautiful and complicated is this color and I would never in the world think cadmium red and viridian is <laughs> is a nice combo you know what I mean like a cool green a warm red what possibly you know can it create that's nice and worth trying and this one was nap natal red and and viridian which created this reddish but reddish probably because I added just too much red but still beautiful reddish violet sort of color
So as expected, a lot of oranges, uh, but got surprised that, I mean, not surprised, but actually I thought that vermilion might act really beautifully with all the yellows and it did. It created the most vibrant, the most clear, beautiful, juicy orange you could ever hope for. So yeah, let's definitely go instead of cat red and yellow, which is always the classic one. Uh, and also kind of looks like naphthal red and ribbon red a little bit. Ribbon red is is a pretty color, honestly. It's like this dirty orangey color. Uh, definitely less vibrant than uh, uh, than these ones. And this one is the others in crimson is just a darker reddish orange color, which is also really pretty. But uh, definitely vermilion just stands out so much in this um, chart. So there you go guys, uh, please go ahead and finish your chart, you see how much fun this is. And please don't forget to go ahead and check out this amazing article that we have in our blog on Center Supplies website that tells you all about the reds, all about the pigments, the history of the red pigments, it's just so interesting and useful. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial, hopefully this was helpful and please do finish the chart and mix all the reds with all the colors it really helps out like you can see how how amazing the the mix is coming in sometimes and you would not even expect it to react this way it really depends a lot about the pigments and the and the paints both of the paints right the reds and the different type of like paints we're mixing it with it's it's really helpful if you get to know your paints this way trust me so please don't forget to rate this video and put a thumbs up it really motivates us to provide you with more helpful and useful tutorials and materials also don't forget to check out the amazing article about all the threads and all about reds and it's really interesting like you guys seriously i'm gonna link it down below in the info box for you and obviously don't forget to subscribe to the supplies instagram and youtube channel because some more tutorials are coming your way with what i'm going to be bye